Hey, what's going on guys? Today I've got a killer book to review, Networking for Systems Administrators by Mike Lucas. You might know Mike Lucas from, well, all these books. Um, he writes a lot about FreeBSD and he's got a new OpenBSD book. Um, he's got some other stuff on uh, sort of smaller system administration related topics. All of his work is phenomenal, everything I've seen so far. And I was actually raving about some of his BSD books in a video several months back. And he contacted me and gave me a copy of Networking for Systems Administrators, which he was promoting at the time, so I could give it a read and review it. Mike, I'm really sorry that this took so long, but uh, I wanted to really make sure that I read, read the book and formed my own opinion on it instead of just poking around for a little bit and, and giving a superficial review. So uh, I hope this does the book justice. So here's the problem with most system administration books that I've read, and I've read a whole lot of them. They're either enormous and extremely dry, technical, only, you know, sort of like reading a specification or an RFC, where you read it and after about 30 seconds your eyes glaze over, and that's, for most people, not the best way to learn something. Although, there it is, all the information you might need to know or memorize. On the other hand, you've got things that are not technical or not comprehensive enough, and that's like a lot of tutorials that you find online, which give a really shallow treatment of a subject, and while they might teach you how to do one or two practical things with it, you kind of don't know how everything fits together, and you're unable to really solve problems in that topic yourself without... You know, it puts people in this sort of like, I'm just going to look it up on Stack Overflow mindset. This sort of, okay, I know a couple tricks, I know basically what this thing should be able to do, but I have no idea conceptually how everything fits together. It's no way to be effective. So this book is, I gotta say, it's like, it completely avoids this problem. It's not too dry and technical and it's not shallow. This will give you a really solid overview of networking. The type of networking you would need as a system administrator, certainly it's useful if you're a developer as well. So I have to say, this is probably one of the top five system administration books I've ever read. It's up there with a couple others I hope to review, uh, one of which is like the Linux and Unix System Administration Handbook, which is like the old classic. This is one of those books where if you can really read through it and understand it, you're like most of the way there for basic sysadmin level troubleshooting knowledge. You're going to be able to deal with something like 80% of the problems that come your way in your first couple years as a sysadmin if you understand the material that's presented in this book. The really nice thing about it is the material is presented for a huge number of operating systems. So like, even if you're running something like Open Indiana, there's stuff in here for you and you're not gonna be left out. So it's not like just Windows and Linux or whatever. It's got a great intro and a really relaxed style. So you're gonna know exactly what you're getting yourself into, what exactly you're gonna learn and basically where your skills will be. You're not gonna be a network admin after you read this book, but if you can you know, have a grip on this material, you'll have a bunch of really practical skills that will let you deal with, like I said before, most of the problems you'll face. Uh, I learned that the... <laughs> it's funny because, like, you know, I feel like I have a pretty good handle on a lot of this stuff, and but I still learned interesting tidbits. For example, I had no idea that the classful networking system, uh, network system was obsoleted in 1995. Because you always see that reference. Like, whenever you learn networking, whenever you, like, take a course on, I don't know, subnetting or whatever, you'll always see the references to, oh, well, you know, back when there there was Classful, the Classful network system, um, you know, and now we use CIDR instead. I had no idea that's like, what is it, 20 years ago that that was obsoleted? Uh, crazy. Anyway, a couple notes, like basic subnetting, it's got a great explanation and it walks you through the process, but um, basic subnetting, it's one of those things that you probably want to learn like you learn math by just doing problems, so like problem sets, okay? So for your subnetting, you, all the theory you need is here, but you should probably try some subnetting problems on your own, like, I don't know, Cisco, like any practice Cisco CCNA exam will have subnetting problems for you to do. Um, just go through some of them and apply the theory in this book um, just to get sort of that, that visceral, instinctive feel for how IP addresses and subnet masks map to usable IP space. It'll make things like CIDR seem a really natural, like you'll just, someone will give you CIDR notation for a network and you'll, you'll have a really good feeling of how that looks. 
yeah, it's incredibly readable, and I, I just can't emphasize enough that it maintains like this this readability where you feel like you're just getting the like a nice easy intro to something, not using this overly technical I'm so smart language. But you come away from each chapter being like, wow, you know, I, I really have like a solid foundational understanding of the topic that was discussed. If you are not completely comfortable with networking yet, if you think of the network as something that's kind of like this thing that's underneath that makes all these problems with weird symptoms happen, that's kind of difficult to troubleshoot, you should read this book. Because reading this book is probably all you need to get started. And it's going to give you a really good idea of you know, maybe what you're interested in or what you want to get deeper knowledge about that you can then study on your own, um, you know, by reading RFCs or uh, more technical guides. There you go. Here, I'm going to add this link. I just have his um, Gumroad link to the book. It's $10 or more. Uh, I really, 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 really recommend that you uh, that you read this book. It's just... It's sort of what you need. It's the basics of what you need. And it certainly will get you through your first interview as a sysadmin. Um, and networking is where a lot of people get tripped up because more and more people now are think they're Linux sysadmins because they run Ubuntu and can, you know, install some programs and stuff. But um, this sort of separates the men from the boys. It's the first place that most people have to learn a completely new thing to start troubleshooting. I'm going to try to do a couple more videos like this uh, for other books that I think are really useful, but that's the crazy thing. I mean, that's why you should get this book. It's because there's only, you know, my list is probably like 10 books. You know, there's like 10 really great technical books that I've read, and this is one of them. So that is high praise. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.